Um, I'm Megan Jaster, and um, so I tend to work in series um, that I think of kind of like books, kind of like an author writes books, you know, so there's kind of chapters, um, and each painting is a chapter, so here's a new chapter, and they tend to be guided by the color palette that I choose, and also maybe the process even, so there's been um, over the years different processes that I'll use to get into the work and I enjoy the process of um, changing that. Um, I know that a lot of artists um, kind of change up their voice uh, depending on the topic and that's something that I've done. So just giving you all an overview. Now how do you sit down and be like okay I'm ready to start a painting? Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a few different entry points for a painting. One of them is the traditional do a sketch, pencil sketch. So um, for a long time, uh, especially in the beginning, I would um, create graphite drawings, um, specifically of figures that I wanted to paint. Mm -hmm. um, and so I kind of approached it in a very traditional kind of atelier, atelier way. Um, my background has been kind of a mixture of art school and atelier. So I've been able to mix and match which might have been kind of the reason for me having these multiple entry points to a painting because I just have experienced a lot of different um, methodologies in approaching painting. But I would say um, more recent, which is um, this piece here, which is a bit of a departure from the other pieces. So uh, this piece here has is my most current work and it I can describe this process a little bit. So with this one, um, I actually utilized um, the um, artificial intelligence to help me generate symbols. And then I'll take this uh, collection of symbols into a photo editing system like Photoshop and I'll reimagine them and collage them into a composition. Um, and so this particular piece is from a series that is going to be a bit of what I imagine a collaboration. So the initial steps of creating these paintings is to um, basically feed in information to um, the artificial intelligence um, component and then to let that start generating imagery and, and things that start to resonate with me. I kind of watch as these things unfold. And then I kind of decide, you know, kind of pick and choose. So it's a bit of like a collage. And I would say a lot of my most recent work has been uh, in the spirit of collage um, and just finding a photograph, video. Um, there's a range of medium that I'll reach out to um, to create a piece. Yeah. Can I ask you a little bit, the use of the AI? So do you dump reference photos into a folder and the AI picks out simple symbols and and then they generate like, oh, here's a flower, here's a feather. Right. Um, it can be photos, like a, an originating photo. Um, it can be just words that like poetry. I like to type in poetry. So this series, I've um, it's really just a fresh um, kind of concept that I'm still working on the details. Um, but uh, this series is going to include kind of bits of prose that I've typed into AI for it to kind of um, surprise me with what it's what it's generating from that. Um, and also, um, yeah, originator images that I've taken um, that are in my files, yeah. Okay, so just, uh, well, can you tell us what the, if you're comfortable, what is the AI system or what is the product? Yeah, well, there's actually a few different um, platforms. So um, this is something that a lot of artists are, kind of, it's kind of a very uh, like on trend thing right now. You might have noticed uh, going, you know, especially Art Basel this year, you know, this topic of AI is like all over the place, right? Um, so I'm kind of, I just got um, curious and I wanted to experience what the possibility was. So I basically just did a Google search for um, AI artist platforms so that you can become an AI artist. Um, and I was, you'll find that there's just a sea of them and I've used different types. Um, uh, there's one called Night Cafe that I've used um, and there's several others. Um, so I like to kind of leave it, I like to get a kind of a 
a broad kind of input spectrum because I'm um, I'm wanting to um, really discover this concept myself as I create these paintings. Um, and yeah, I'm fascinated. Sorry, sorry, can you expand on, you said explore the concept? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So explore the concept in the painting or explore the concept of using AI platforms? I think collaborating, collaborating. And I, I this is kind of a signature of my work is I, I have a real um, need for collaboration with another component. So in the past I've done residencies. Um, I'm gonna show uh, an example of a residency I did in Berlin where I kind of felt, I imagined myself collaborating with the city itself to generate images. Um, that might be a good segue for me to go ahead and I don't want to spend too long on one topic. Yeah, another component that I've been intrigued by is um, Carl Jung's Red Book. Um, and so as you know, Carl Jung created a lot of archetypes, um, uh, these um, cultural archetypes that have been used for decades to help us understand our deeper selves, right? So um, in the study of his red book, um, he separates um, our experience of time. And um, I found that particularly relative to what's happening right now, there's a sense of timelessness in the idea of AI. And um, I think that's what fascinates us as humans so much is that it's, some, it's a system that maybe where true immortality can be achieved and plus all these other ideas, right? Um, so that's, yeah, it's a little bit of a seed um, curiosity for me at the moment. And I, I'm exploring that alongside of, you know, just working with AI programs and, and multiple different platforms and, um, and using this um, underpinning of, of Carl Jung's Red Book as my kind of um, philosophical, philosophical aspect that I'm intermeshing it with. Um, so yeah, there's lots to talk. I could go deeper into the subject, but I don't want to be too much of a nerd um, with it. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'll just kind of on that uh, concept of collaborative um, elements that I've experienced in my work, uh, I'm just going to highlight another collaboration. And that was um, during residency um, in Berlin uh, that happened um, in 2014. And um, this piece um, was, it's technically probably several pieces, but there's really one piece in particular that was generated from this collaboration. Um, so this is a, um, a painting that is um, fairly large, it's a wall size painting. And um, I'll just walk you through the process here. So the backstory is I went on a uh, kind of a self-directed residency in Berlin after having spent some time in Europe uh, earlier in the year. Um, and it was about a four month residency, three or four months. Um, and I had spent my time um, wanting to come away with something that would represent my conversation with Berlin as I explored the um, monuments like this one here, the Jewish Holocaust monument, um, just even living in Berlin and experiencing some of its architecture. So here you see that um, building in the center is known as the Eye. Um, it's like this tower in the center of, of Berlin in what's called Mitte. And uh, this, <laughs> they call it the eye because it was created during, uh, it was like built at a time when, um, you know, the wall was up and there was this paranoia in the city, right? And so this tower kind of looked like this massive antenna or like this observ observatory platform that was spying on, you know, the citizens and whatnot. So this idea of surveillance started becoming a part of the narrative as I was in Berlin and specifically the east side of Berlin. My studio was located in the far east of Berlin. Um, the building itself was um, once a ex-Stasi espionage building where they would receive mail and then open mail and then send it out to people. Um, and they'd also tap wires there. So it, there was a lot of um, kind of dark um, 
elements of humanity running through this part of the city. And so when I was creating the work, um, one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to um, kind of have the, the first initial part of my painting be about interacting with the culture itself in some meaningful way. And here you see footprints on canvas. And this was kind of the first step. Um, so what I did was I uh, went to a subway station and in Berlin there's lots of subways and I had laid my canvas out uh, on, the, on the ground. Um, and I actually have a short video of people walking on the canvas that I'll just kind of put on the screen here uh, to show you. And then from there, that was kind of like the initiation of the painting. Um, so one of the things I struggled with as I was in this residency was a way to feel like I was actually a part of the city and not just the observer, not just the tourist, you know, trying to, in this short period of time, trying to get some uh, level of intimacy with the city and, and what was happening in the city in this present day. And um, I felt that having people walk on the canvas itself was kind of uh, like inviting to just put its first mark on the canvas like a code again going back to that collaborative concept of how do I how do I create a collaborative environment with this piece of artwork um, so I'll just share quickly um, this brief little video of people walking on the canvas at this subway station So that's um, just to give you a little idea of that was the beginning of the work, which was so fun because um, people were very curious and I had written in German, uh, please step on me. And I put the box there so that only uh, the Germans would be able to read it. And so, cause my idea was to have people from Berlin walking on the canvas, you know, to kind of um, be aligned with this idea of a portrait of the city. So that was, um, that's just a brief overview of that particular painting. Um, and that was probably one of the times where I realized how much I enjoyed this idea of um, really reaching out into um, uh, the place I was at into, you know, kind of this modern zeitgeist and trying to pull that into my work in the moment and trying also to let go of expectations of what might happen. Thank you very much for sharing your work with us today, Megan. We look forward to seeing more in the future.